Uh, you're talking about like different, you know, about different unis building fences around uh, oh. student accommodations. It's like Berlin Wall all over again. <laughs> I'd say, all, to like, be fair, student, students co- yanking things down. Controversial. I can understand it. Uni students, I don't know. I don't think you can trust them to uh, no. uh, the majority of them, especially, or I don't know, like in student halls, it gets very wild there. As much as they say, oh, we're, we're, you know, we're social distancing, blah, blah, blah. They are absolutely not. They are absolutely <laughs> not. Not a chance. Like, uh, <laughs> I agree to the extent of like, they, they shouldn't be charged for it, right? If they're, yeah. if they're forced to stay there, that's fine, right? But if we're keeping them in, stay in like <laughs> i'm not giving you free accommodation for you to go go and I mean, they have courtyards but i think some of them i think some of them did take it a bit too far and they blocked off the courtyards i feel as though the entire halls like uh, i've seen them where they're like blocking off halls into different flats and they're all staying in their individual flats so they can't go in the courtyard or anything i feel as though most uni accommodations they have it's like a square and yeah. they have a courtyard in the middle. The large majority of them are like that. Um, I feel as though they should have split the courtyards up into four parts, um, had each individual block uh, bubbled. So then you've obviously got a lot of people who you can still talk to and yeah. go and see and whatever, and you can go outside in a designated area. I think that would have been better for them rather than mm. you know, blocking them off flat by flat and not allowing them to go outside at all. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I haven't read much into it, but I guess it would depend. If that's like just universally what they're doing, I think that's stupid. But I, it, dependent on the region and how poorly it's doing, then maybe. It is crazy, though, how there's still people like the students, because the, the company I work for, uh, we uh, offer PCR pre-flight tests. And I get phone calls from like people who work at uni. It's like, oh, you know, we've got we've got an 18 year old guy here. He's been stuck in the country for almost a year now because of COVID. He's finally trying to get back home. You know, how do we book a COVID test? And it's like there's people who've been here, like it's literally stuck in their accommodation for like a year. It's 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 mad. That's <laughs> it's, insane. And they've not I, been able to like see their see their family or anything. Like they shouldn't have even no, they should have gone back for like Christmas and stuff. They had to, you know, stay in the UK in a shitty student hall for <laughs> over a year. And, Feliz oh, Navidad. It, it's so bad though, with the with these PCR tests, because <laughs> The majority of airlines and what most companies recommend is that you have the test 72 hours before your flight because the results can take 48 hours to actually get to you. Okay. The majority of people don't read that. So they're like, yeah, I'm flying tomorrow. I need a COVID test or this student needs a COVID test. I'm like, you've fucked it. You know, there's yeah. absolutely no way that you're going to get your results in time. Well, why not? Because that's just how it works. Mm-hmm. Or uh, going back uh, back in time, um, last March, March 2020, I know that me and you, Adam, were quite ill, possibly COVID positive, but we... Yes, we after, going to, after going to Mosh. Yeah, yeah just, just some clarification. Um, this was <laughs> yeah. a couple of weeks after the first case was in the UK and no one really knew, like, uh, well... The general population on the ground didn't really. No know, one knew so. the extent of it. I've, I mean, I've yeah. seen articles where they're like, "Oh, it's not going to turn into a pandemic." <laughs> no, no, like no, January no. Last year, mm. <laughs> no, it's like, "Oh yeah, our government knows what to do about it." But yeah, um, but yeah, we went to Mosh on Friday, and then like Monday, Tuesday, it was like, "Oh, I'm, I've got a bit of a cough," and it's like, "Mate, that's that's like symptoms of like coronavirus," and it's like, we're like <laughs> Bruh. But, "But no, like yeah. we were ill." We were very well, the point ill. Of that is, we were very ill at the point of lockdown. So a lot of people um, traveling back home because they're being locked down and want to be at like on the home home. Uh, we we're stuck, at, stuck at uni. Um, oh, you've you've name dropped. Yeah, because uh, me and you, we were stuck at um, our university houses while everyone else was just going home, like a mass exodus all the, all the way across the country, all these mm. different unis, all these different parts of the country. We, we were stuck here in our uni halls. Well, I wanted to halls, get my money's worth, though. 
because I was I was paying mm. for that place for the whole year. I wanted to stay there until the end. <laughs> I'm mm. getting my money's worth. I don't give this COVID. I'm <laughs> I'm getting my money's worth for my rent. Thanks. Then again, it was peaceful. Uh, like no one else, like really <laughs> bow. The re- like the rest of my housemates were still there. That was uh... oh, but do they uh, get symptoms? No. But kind of as soon as I start getting symptoms of that, this is obviously just this was kind of just before the lockdown. Mm. Obviously, I actually went home for the for the weekend, Ooh. and I was in bed constantly. But it was, it was interesting. That bed I right there. That's the one. That's what I'm getting rid of. Actually, I've um, I've actually remodeled my entire bedroom in Google. Sorry, uh, Trimble SketchUp. <laughs> Uh, and I've imported two scale models of um, of IKEA products, so I can figure out where I'm putting stuff when I redo my room. <laughs> Bit extra, but uh, it's working. I oh, know, no, more power to you. That's yeah. like I'll send you a photo. Actually, technology. I'm, I'm very impressed with myself. Let me uh, let me get let me save, save a photo here. You can you can put it up, Hayden, and you can everyone can see what my room's going to look like. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> This is the this content is the most exci- people follow for. This is the most exciting thing I've done in like months, to be honest. <laughs> mm. And that's saying a lot. Where did it save to? Sorry, lads. Here we are. I'll put it in this chat here. That's, I think, that, yeah, there you go. Oh. Oh, why don't you um, share screen? Uh, I don't think I can, actually. Yeah, host disabled participant screen sharing. Am I the host? I believe Got so. Got a di- dictator, Jeff. Oh, I, don't, I don't know how to fix it. Sorry, lads. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just have a look at that. Um, uh, so it's collected download. I don't trust my internet. Um, <laughs> but uh, I'll, I'll, I will say good job. and uh, <laughs> Download it afterwards. Have a look. Yeah. <laughs> Save it for later. Um, but yeah, like over our uni doesn't seem that bad. I mean, obviously, right now lockdown and everything, and as things are going, it's like, well, because how he was with us, those who were right, because there was a choice: make a film or write a script. Mm. Those who chose to write a script, they were going to do it anyway. Us doing film or making mm. a film, predicted grades. I, I do think that we were lucky in the fact that we got to do the majority of the course because obviously there's people who are who are now missing like whole years of doing practical work just yeah. because of COVID. We were lucky in the fact that we got to actually do stuff before the lockdown. Obviously, we missed out on our final project. Mm. And as you said, it was all predicted grades. But yeah, I mean, with... imagine if you're like a second year yeah. last year, right? So you go, so now you're now you're a last year, right? You go, I've got you, I've finished uni, right? In my opinion, the degree is rather useless, right? So you're like, I've got this useless degree. I also don't have a show reel and I have no training on cameras. Yeah. Please hire me. <laughs> like, mm. like how hard you listen like, I think you're gonna either have to work up real hard or you just change career. Like honestly, if you are going to be so hard to hire. I have As heard... If you... Sorry. No, no, good. Oh, uh, no, so I just have heard from the grapevine that Derby Uni have offered um, uh, people, like uh, just all students in general, indefinite deferrals, like they can defer a year or another year, just, just until everything's blown over, which... I wish we could have done sense. that, to be fair. Yeah, yeah, like, definitely. It's but... a shame that that happened... You know, just after we left, but I know I understand it because I mean, everyone thought this was going to be over mm. uh, by the end of 2020, and we're now, you know, start of 2021. No but sign you, of you it gotta going think, anywhere. If, 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 uh, I, I'm very happy that they're happy to defer, right? But if you think everyone defers till after the pandemic, that following year, rammed. That's true, yeah. yeah. And Although, then you and we're like, and there's from also our uni, fact, we're already on limited yeah. resources. And there's also the fact that our year, uh, Jeff and Hayden, that we're able to use their equipment 
once the pandemic's over to make our final film so that's going to be one two like maybe maybe four years worth of people all trying to use the equipment at once yeah so if it's like if you're a last year like if you i assume you want to use the the red and the aries right you're going to have two years instead of one trying to access that equipment yeah Mm. and there's however many you were and because of the deferrals there's probably going to be even more on the following year so you're going to be 100 plus people trying to get hold of four cameras good luck <laughs>